everyone. Uh, so My name is Sunita Jamisit Daitus. I am from Thailand. I am now in Thailand. I am from Gaia Ashram. I'm co-founder of Gaia Ashram, which is an eco and an eco learning center, ecosystem restoration project based in northeastern of Thailand. So we've been around uh, 10 years inspired by the deep ecology philosophy, eco village movement and uh, permaculture. And um, today I am very happy to be part of this circle. So I've been part of the circle, like, but never go online in the online conference with the group, but this is the first time. So really happy to be here. And um, I would like to share with you about Kaya Asham today in the aspect of education. I would, I would um, that's what I think. Uh, in the theme of reimagining education. So uh, I will start with our belief and our philosophy about learning or education. So we believe that, so we ask ourselves why we learn, why we have to learn, why do we need education? What is the purpose of education? So that is the very first step of us beginning to rethinking education. Why do I need education? And what is education for? And um, we have come to understand for ourselves that learning is part of anything that is alive. Anything that is alive, learn. We have to learn. We have to learn to survive. That is the primary purpose of learning for everything. And um, they're not just learning to survive. They're also learning to survive to their highest potential of being alive. And this is what I learned from observing anything that is alive. Also. I see that the trees that are learning, there are trees that are growing. They're not just, okay, I can grow now. And then uh, this is it. But I uh, have experience where I see trees that are growing in their foolish potentials of being a tree. I, I I believe that you all have that experience also where you have the experience to observe some being, someone that you think they are fully, fully healthy, fully, fully in their in their in their potential of being being their being. And um, how that make that make you feel? So what it make me feel when I look at the trees that are fully growing, are fully in its full presence of being healthy, it touched my heart, make my heart humble. It make my heart melt. It make my heart bow to just respect. So that also giving a, a question of like, this is, this is why we learn. Learning is important for our life, for our survival, but not only for survival, but for becoming something fully in our potential. So what does that mean for each being? I see the tree, I have experience observing trees that I believe are oh, these trees fully, fully healthy. And I have experience to observe that I I think that that river that I, I was observing was fully, fully alive, fully in, in its potential that I make me believe that I have never seen water before I see this water. So, and what does that mean for, for humans? What does it mean for me being in my potential? So that is our journey of exploring. So what kind of learning then would help me to survive to the best that I can, and also to help me to grow to my foolish potential? Why do I have to grow to my foolish potential? And I think it's just the way it is just the way everything is, everything I observe around me, that is just what it comes as part of being alive. We are learning everything and learning, learning to grow, learning to survive, learning to complete its cycle to its best potential. If it finds circles, if it finds obstacles, it will learn. Like what our presentation, the seals doing their research, every, every being trying their best to to survive to that potential. So the the what does that mean? 
to be um, the human that are existing to our highest potential as human. That is a big journey of the quest and the learning. And then, and then it comes to the exploring of like who we are as human. What are what are our our who we are? What 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 is it? What what human made of? I mean, not only like the cells, the organs, but also what else that that thing like this is human. So we have brain, we have body, we have heart, we have what we call soul or spirit, we have emotions and all of that. And it comes to our journey of exploring right? to become fully healthy as a human being, is that mean that we have to explore all the different aspects of our life and that we have to um, be into awareness of all the different aspects of our life and then giving it uh, the best methods for the potentials of every every part of our life, every aspect of our life have the potential to grow as well. So not only our brain, our intelligence, but also our heart. What does it mean our heart fully grows? What does it mean our heart in its fully health? What does it mean our healthy brain, healthy mind, healthy body? And we believe that to explore our life holistically, we need to um, have a space that we can explore and experience different aspects of life. And then the best way for us to do that is in a community space. It's in a space where you also mentioned before, a safe space where you could really open up your heart and see what's in there. And then like, um, just to know, to understand, and then to, to, uh, to, to see what, what are the potentials of all those different parts. So when we talk about communities, of course it means like building a community of safe space, building a community of trust. So every program that Gaia Ashram, even though we are teaching about ecology or we're teaching about eco-village, we're teaching about Business is is all have to be held in a community setting where people feel included. People have a space, and then people are uh, reminded that we are learning with both of our logic, but also we are also learning with our heart open for the potential of the unknown, the unexpected to reveal itself for us to learn in the process, and. Um, and in the, this community setting, it's not only mean the community of, of people. We're trying to bring in the concept of community of all beings and uh, seeing ourselves as a community of people within the bigger circle of, of community. There's the other beings all around us. And learning to coexist with all those beings, it's actually, it takes all different muscles of our life to be involved in that um, process of learning. And then I find that uh, in this, journey of exploring who we are is the best place to explore that is the, the place in the connection in the relationship with all those around us. Not only all those humans, but also everything that is around us. And that is also just the way it is, because we are not existing isolately, isolately of all that around us. No one is exists and disappear just by its own. There's an interconnectedness and interdependence of existing, growing, or even passing away. So the best place to learn is in this, the foundation of connection. And that involves us raising the awareness of all those around us. And then that including us learning to expand our awareness and then open our mind and our heart, learn to be both active and receptive at the same time, being receptive to experience and being active to be able to contribute in back into the community of all beings. And that is what we also learn. Action then, giving back then is also part of education. Because when we take action, we also change something in system. I think the purpose of education and learning also is to help us to evolve. So action, thinking, feeling, awareness, 
reflection, all of those are including into the process of evolving us as humans. I think, I think everything wants to evolve. I think everyone, everything wants to evolve and everything keep learning. Even though we don't know, even though I still don't know what it means to become like fully healthy as a person, I still don't know. But the desire or the 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 the, the curiosity and the aspiration to learn, it is now at this point. I feel that it is so natural. It is so natural. At least like you 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 born with it, or like our DNA or our our life just born with it, like all beings that is alive is born with this survival instinct. And if within that survival instinct, it means that this learning instinct, and you have to learn to survive. So I think like we have to ask ourselves, what, 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 why are we learning? What's the purpose of learning? For me, for us as Kai Asham, yes, we want to explore what does it mean to be when we are experiencing a very healthy trees healthy ecosystem healthy mountains healthy animals we admire them and what does it mean that to be a very healthy person a very healthy human a very healthy community or society of humans that all other beings might admire our place what was that how does that might look so um as Kaya Asham, we put it at our learning into our day-to-day -day living. So our design of our day-to-day -day living or our learning program, then including uh, building up our self-awareness, like uh, practice, some practices in, are introduced into the community. So then people are keeping the practice to practice to have a strong awareness of what is around us. And then, um, Practicing of gratitude and practicing of giving back to the community of all beings. So that is the overall story of Gaia Ashram uh, in the aspect of learning. I don't know if we still have two minutes. If we still have two minutes, I show you a one minute and a half, um, just a snapshot of a slideshow of how Gaia Ashram looks like. Mm -hmm.